In this video we're going to look at how we can use a variable to determine which language to send for your email template and also the language that the survey should be displayed in for your respondents. Now in order to do this we're going to look at a couple of things within Forms Pro itself first. If we click on the ellipsis on the top right here or the three dots we're going to go to survey variables and we need to make sure that this variable is included that says locale. Now if you've created a brand new survey that will be included automatically. If you've got surveys that are a little bit older you might not have that in there so just go ahead and check if you wanted to do this on an older survey because the locale variable is relatively new so it, it might not be there, it might not already exist. So we just need to make sure that it's set up and it's called a locale. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we've set up our survey in the different languages that we need. So again we're going to go back to the ellip ellipsis and click on multilingual and we can see here that I've got uh, three other languages in addition to the primary language of English from the United Kingdom. So I'm also going to have German, Spanish and French. Now to add another language I can just click here add additional language and I can go ahead and search for it and let's say I want to do Swedish it does not translate it for you you need to do the translations yourself however what we can do is we can easily edit all of these at one time so if I click on edit all um, I can download an Excel file and what this is going to do is it's going to download with the English and then a section for all of the other languages that I've got set up so that I can then go ahead and easily update these languages and then just import and upload the Excel file once I've made modifications to it. So we can see here that we have our default which is in English and we can see that is the language code and uh, we're going to use that later on so keep in mind that you can easily get the language codes for the languages that you've set up by downloading this file. So here we've got what the English is and then we've got the German, we've got the Spanish and we've got the French translations and if I knew Swedish I would go ahead and put those translations in there as well um, and then just import that file back in. So again remember these codes at the top, those are important, we're going to use those a little bit later on. Alright, so for now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete the Swedish. I do not need that one. So I've got my three versions. If I go ahead and preview this, I can see there's the different versions. Um, I've got the German, I've got the Spanish and I have the French. Alright, so let's go back. Now another thing that I need, if I go ahead and click on send and I went to send an email, I need to have templates set up that are also in those languages. So I have my request feedback that's in English, request feedback in French, in German and in Spanish. So I've set those up and created them. So that's within Forms Pro itself. So we know that we need to do those few little items there. Next, what I need to make sure is whatever uh, environment, whatever database, what, whether it's SharePoint, whether it's CDS, whatever I'm using, I want to make sure that I've got some kind of field or some kind of way to identify on a contact what their preferred language is. So I've just created an option set. This is um, for those of you that use Dynamics 365, customer engagement, whatever you might be using. It's basically in your CDS environment. I've set up a field that is an option set for preferred language and we can see here if I click to edit the option set I've got English, French, German and Spanish. Now one thing that I'm going to be needing um, shortly because we're going to be setting up a flow that determines which of these languages to send I need to know what the values are so if I click on English and do view more I need to know what the value is for each of these option set options. So if I click on these and I click on view more I can see the value for each of those different options. Um, we don't need the commas in there so we've got 916-780-000 and then so on for each of these options. So again that's going to be something you're going to need to note because we're going to use that in just a little bit. Alright so then what we've got is if I go to a contact record we can see here that I've got this drop down English, French, German and Spanish. So we're going to leave it on French and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an, um, a flow that will run whenever a case is closed and it will find out what the value is, what the language is and then it will go ahead and pick the correct um, survey 
version, so which language, I want French, and it'll also um, select the correct email template and use that one to send it out. All right, so finally, let's go ahead and look at the flow. All right, so the very first thing that I'm doing is I'm basically checking to see when a case is closed. Um, and I'm using the, let's go to the settings, I'm using a trigger condition that basically is making sure that the status of that case equals five, which is resolved. So I'm only going to be running this flow whenever that condition is met. Then I'm going to get the contact from the case. Um, you might use uh, the customer field, so whatever you're using. In this, I'm just basically saying get the contact from the case. Now what I'm doing is I need to have a uh, an expression. So if I just click on this, rather than doing dynamic content, I'm doing an expression. And my expression is basically saying, if the preferred language from the contact that's in the previous step, so the get contact, so we can see there that it says if equals output get contact. So the output from the get contact step, the preferred language field, if that equals 916780001, then I'm going to set the locale as being FR. So remember when we downloaded that Excel file and at the top it had what the language code was? So I'm setting the language code. If the output equals 02, that's German. If it equals 03, that's Spanish. And if it's none of those, it must be English. So we're going to use that one. Or it might be empty and we want to send our default, which would be English. So we're using that, that's a compose step, and we're using that expression to be able to get the language code from the um, from the contact record. Next, what we want to do is we've got the exact same expression, but instead of using um, the language code, what we want to do is we want to get the related email template. So you can see in there that there are a series of GUIDs or IDs that we're basically pulling. Now, how do we get those? All right, so if we go to our final step, which is to send a survey, the the end result will be that you'll use the output from this, but how do you get those GUIDs to set up that output? So let's go ahead and remove that for now. And let's go ahead and just do what we would normally do when we send a survey, we would pick the email template. So if I select the first email template and I click here and I look at peak code, I can see that there is the email template ID. That is the ID that I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to just keep changing this and selecting the next email template, looking at peak code, getting the ID, copying that and pasting that somewhere like a notepad um, and using that to essentially create that expression so that I say if it's French I want to use the French version of the email template, if it's Spanish I want to use that and so on. So once you've got all that instead of actually picking an email template you're going to do enter custom value and you're going to pick the output from the get related email template step. We're also going to use the output from the getting the language and we're going to use that in the locale field. We're then also going to pull the email address from the get contact step. We're going to set it regarding the case and the recipient is the contact. And then we're going to pull in the first name and the last name from the get contact step. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to resolve a case so that we can have an email sent out. So we'll come right back. Okay, so we've resolved a case and we've come into an email account and here we can see it's in French. And if we go ahead and we open it, we can see there's the French version of that email template. Let's go ahead and look at the survey. And we can see it's already asking me if I want to translate it from French. We're just gonna go ahead and close that. And now we've got the French version of the email, uh, sorry, French version of the temp, French version of the survey. So. The user can always come up here and click to change it and switch it to English if they prefer, um, but we want them to have it defaulted into the language that they've said is their preferred language. Now, by default, the way in which the languages work is it's based on the browser settings, 
for that particular person. So we're essentially overriding those browser settings, which, which is great because if they've told us that they would prefer it in French, maybe the rest of their browser settings, maybe it's set to English and so everything else they look in English, but this they want to get in French. So this way, by using that local variable, we can easily give them the language that they've told us that they prefer. So hopefully you found this useful. Um, and again, remember, you need to make sure you're using that local variable, set up your survey in the various languages you need, and then also create templates in those different languages as well. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.